For folks who are deaf or hard of hearing, there is a well thought out accessibility feature called Music Haptics in iOS 18. When it comes into action, iPhone dances along with the music, playing a variety of haptics such as tabs and textures in sync with the currently playing music. Sadly, many users have reported that the Music Haptics is not working on their iPhone. If it is malfunctioning for you as well, now is the right time to fix it so that your music time no longer suffers. That's it. Let's get it started. It's worth pointing out that you have to manually activate the Music Haptics feature on your iPhone, so ensure that it is enabled on your device. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Now select Accessibility. Then choose Music Haptics and then turn it on. If you have a liking for the Music Haptics feature, I would recommend you add the Music Haptics Quick Action button on the lock screen. Using the Quick Action button, you'll be able to enable or disable it with utmost ease. Simply bring up the lock screen on your iPhone and then long press on the screen. Then tap on the Customize button and then select Lock Screen. Then you have to tap on the Action button you want to get rid of. After that, tap on the Plus button. Then you have to scroll down to find the Music Haptics icon and select it. And finally, make sure to tap on the Done button to confirm. From now onward, you'll be able to trigger the Music Haptics feature right from your iPhone lock screen. Bear in mind that the Music Haptics feature requires an Apple Music subscription, so if you're not using the premium version of Apple Music, the Music Haptics may not work for you. Know that currently Music Haptics works with only Apple Music. Though Apple has launched the Music Haptics API for developers, it's going to take a while before third-party music apps will be compatible with this new accessibility feature, so make sure to keep it in your mind as well. Know that not all songs support Music Haptics as of now. Since it is still a work in progress, be sure to check the song's compatibility. If a song supports this feature, you should see a Music Haptics label right on it. Then I would recommend you to first restart your iPhone because it has long been a highly effective solution in fixing frustrating iOS related problems. To do so, press and release the volume up button, then you have to press and release the volume down button, and then you have to hold down the side button, aka the power button, until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Another reliable solution that you should try to bring the Music Haptics back on track is the Factory Reset. For those unfamiliar, it will clean up the entire custom settings on your iPhone, but none of your media and data will be deleted. Therefore, you shouldn't worry about losing anything at all. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Then select General. After that, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Transfer a Reset iPhone. Then select Reset. Then tap on Reset All Settings and confirm the action. After that, go back to the Accessibility setting and then set up Music Haptics. And finally, I will recommend you to update the software on your iPhone because there is a high chance that a software bug might be causing the problem and preventing Music Haptics from working properly. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Now select General. Then tap on Software Update and finally download and install the latest iOS update. And that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you will be able to fix music haptics not working on iPhone problem. Hopefully you have gotten the better at the problem and the beloved music haptics feature have come back on track. If you found this video helpful, do like, consider it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good day.